So I have the Samsung Galaxy S10 here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to reset the Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and your mobile data connection to hopefully, hopefully fix any type of issue that you're currently having with any of those. Now, Android devices are quite complex, both in terms of hardware as well as software. And even the most random of issues can cause um, a trouble with your various wireless connectivity technologies. This includes Bluetooth, mobile data, as well as your Wi-Fi connection. And I see these questions and, and complaints throughout Android forums on the internet and have been seeing them for years. Either they can't connect to a Wi-Fi network or their device isn't connecting to uh, an accessory via Bluetooth or they're having trouble with their wireless network. The cause of these connectivity issues can be all sorts of things. So for the last few years, Samsung has built in a way to reset Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and your mobile data all at the same time just to give it a clean slate. That way, hopefully, you don't have to do a factory reset in an attempt to fix one of these connection issues. So to do that, we just need to open up the settings application. Then we're going to scroll down a bit till we see the general management option. And then we're going to tap on the reset option. And this is where we can do a factory reset. We can reset our access accessibility settings. We can reset all of our settings to defaults. But again, for this tutorial, we're just going to focus on Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and mobile data connection troubles. So, of course, we're just going to tap on the Reset Network Settings option here. And then we're going to tap on the blue Reset Settings button. And then, once again, we're just going to tap on Reset. You'll be told at the bottom that the network settings have been reset. Now this is going to reset all three of those at the same time. So your mobile data connection is going to be reset, meaning that if you're connected online, then that is going to be reset. And you're going to lose internet for a little bit. Same thing with Wi-Fi, and the same thing for any Bluetooth device that you're currently connected to. As you can see though, Wi-Fi will eventually turn back on. And we can go back in and connect to our Wi-Fi device. The same thing can be said for our Bluetooth devices. If you're having trouble connecting to a, a Bluetooth device, you'll just go back into the Bluetooth section. Now this type of troubleshooting fix is basically just a blanket clean all. Again, it's better to do this than to do a factory reset and lose all of the d other data you have on your device, such as your apps and your photos and videos and games and such. So it's not going to fix every issue that you have. I will be going into further detail of how to fix certain connectivity issues, such as Bluetooth, in a future tutorial. If this generic troubleshooting step does not help, so look forward to that if your Galaxy S10, S10 Plus, or S10e is having issues with Bluetooth. Bluetooth connection issues seem to be my most popular videos for the Samsung Galaxy series. So again, look forward to a dedicated Bluetooth fix video in the future. But for now, if you're having any type of trouble connecting to, like I said, Wi-Fi, your mobile data, or a Bluetooth device, go ahead and try out the simple and very quick troubleshooting step to see if you can fix that connectivity issue that you're currently having.